fellow Americans, good morning. Certain dates echo throughout history. The January 6th insurrection. January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. January 6th. January the 6th. January 6th. Including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001 and January 6th, 2021. Newsflash, nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit that shit was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. Nobody's walking around stressing over Jan 6. It happened and that was it. We haven't gave a damn since. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood. But now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up. Not back then when goods were looted and folks were brutalized. Not then, but right now because it happened to the suit and ties. Huh. That shit's way above my head. We were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do, bitch, ain't that what you said? Yep. There's literally compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap. So it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words, you put your own foot in your mouth, and now you're forced to dial it back. Mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it in my town, in his town, in her town, when the whole fucking city's being burnt down. You smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit, but as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Got it. I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted, I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time, so don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down in front of his shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing, shit, you'd probably say good riddance. You'd walk right over me like I was a crack, and you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge me, you'd probably nudge my body and go, Aw, little fucker must have died of COVID. <laughs> you know it's true. Stop bluffing. All right. They do absolutely nothing that is trusting. Mm -hmm. Kamala, for you to compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 is disrespectful and fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. Mm -hmm. No one that I know is even still paying attention to it. We'd all forget this shit in like a month if nobody mentioned it. Yep. And you know it too. Uh -huh. You're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any juice. Mm -hmm. While your stupid committee's wasting money convicting people from a year ago, I'll see and then runs continuous loops yep. We would rather hear you address a million other issues We don't want to listen to you cry Get a fucking mm -hmm. tissue So many things could be dealt with in a jiff But you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit mm -hmm. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs>